listening to this. You got your drinks. Drinks will be coming around. Everybody cool? Nice. We turn our mics up just a hair sound guy. Just a hair. Whip out your dick and show him how big a hair is. All systems go. Prepare for countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off to adventure in the amazing year 400 billion. Obscene, dirty, filthy, immoral. What are you people? On dope? Friday, September 25th, 2009, and my name is Matt. And my name's Danny. And thank you guys so much for being with us. This is episode number 250! Yeah! Like I said before, but I'll just go ahead and get it recorded. We do this live show every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually around 8 o'clock. If you were listening live right now on your computer, the jamhole.com slash feedback is where you type shit, and I would... <laughs> Read it, on, read the it on the show. All right, fantastic. Fuck you guys. So, how's everybody doing tonight? You guys came all the way out here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> How many people came from out of state? Who doesn't live here in Montana? Nice. And who came the furthest away? Our weird, weird stalker guy, all the way, all the way from Florida to come and listen to us talk. That blows my fucking mind, dude. It just blows means it. we're that awesome. That's all. That's that's fantastic. I, I appreciate you guys being here with us. This is great. Um, how's that? Delicious. Good. Say hi to Buddy Christ on your way out. Woo! So, man, this this is blowing my mind. I didn't think half this many people would show up. Man. Right? I just thought, like, like I said, I thought it was just gonna be me, you, and Braden. Probably yeah. Rich Jelly too. Where is Braden at? Where's Braden? Watch, you come up here, Braden. For the uh, first, yeah, round of applause for the way to go. I was gonna say something mean about him quitting, but I I don't have it in me. Hey, baby. This is Braden. Uh, he actually started the show with me after. Uh, I had what three episodes? Yeah, about with, three with, or four. Uh, who knows Travis Allison here? Does anyone know him? Do you know where my iPod <laughs> Nano is? Because he still has that, <laughs> and I would really like it back. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he kind of flaked out and quit coming. So I gave Braden a call one day. I was like, Hey, you want to come talk with me? And he's like, well, What do you want to talk about? I'm like, Dude, it's a podcast. Anything. We can talk about anything, anything about whatever. Anything. What did you think, now that uh, we have you here and it's been a while since you have been doing the show with us, like, what did you think when I called you up and you're like, are we just going to hang out and talk? Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. I definitely never thought uh, there'd be this many people sitting in front of me listening to us I talk. know, right? <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. That's, I'm, wow, I'm, my mind is blown. But uh, Yeah, we actually did, real quick before we get into the show, there, uh, there was a few businesses that helped us out with this whole thing. For one... The place we're at right now, Anna's Italian Grill. I made the maze yeah. in the back. Big round of applause for Anna's. Awesome food tonight. Awesome food. Thank you guys very much for eating dinner with us. Fantastic. I'm probably going to have to take a dump here any minute. Yeah, I did that fine. before we started. I'll hold it back. Uh, the other place, which if you were listening to the Wednesday night show, she kind of, um, how would you say that? Totally went through my notebook and ripped me off. I did off. not go through your notebook. <laughs> I just kind of mentioned something that you wanted to talk about on the show tonight. Okay, well, it wasn't I... intentionally. My bad. Sorry. Okay, okay. As long as it was an accident, right? Sure, it was. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, well, <laughs> there, there's this place. I don't know if you guys have seen our awesome mall. Those of you out of town, have you seen that thing? It's ridiculous, oh, right? It's huge. It's, ass mall. it's huge. I know. I, know. Huge. I got lost it's like in the there. City block. <laughs> I got lost in there once. Okay, I was like. I Fuck me. But anyway, there's there used to be this place called Sunshine Tapes and CDs, and they went under because, honestly, who buys CDs anymore? Does anyone even own CDs except for the Book of Matthew back there for five bucks? Just saying. Nice. I, I rap. I don't know if you guys know this or not. That guy right there raps, too, or he used to. I don't know. You still rapping? Yeah? The new album's coming out this spring. Oh, yeah? Who you got on that? Lil, Lil Wayne, Lil John, rappers with the... Uh, PG. Uh, Kanye. Oh, oh, oh it's Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I keep like waiting for Kanye to just bust through the door and be like, you know, this is a good live show, but uh, Keith and the girl did it better. So I just want to say that. God, I fucking. Oh, or that. I fucking hate that guy. His music is. I, I don't even understand that. And it's not a racist thing. I saw you peek your uh, ears up there from Idaho. Um, we'll have you guys come up in a minute. But anyway, where Sunshine Tapes and Seas was, there's this place called Chuckles, which, uh, if. <laughs> it's the worst name. It's the worst name for. It's like the ha ha. It sounds in like New a York. porn store. Like, we had a place called a Giggles. In Sarasota, Florida, that was a porn store. How? Shits and Giggles would be better. Well, Shits and why? Giggles? <laughs> Dr. Giggles? Why would you name a porn star, store, star? Why would you name it Giggles? It, that just, like, I don't I want don't anyone laughing at me when I'm about to pull my <laughs> yeah, pants Giggles. down. Like, Sex would not mix. Yeah, how about not Giggles? <laughs> it worked not. out pretty good down there, so. But anyway, no I talked to the lady there, and she was all about, you know, what we're doing here and stuff, and she, she had our posters and our stickers. And uh, she was telling me about there's a Christian bookstore. How many Christians do we have in the house? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God! Thank you! Oh, so now I can use all of my non-Christian material. <laughs> but she uh, across. Thank you God for not showing up. What? <laughs> Thank you God for not showing up tonight. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, so speaking of God, before uh, we talk about this, hey, you guys know who 40, what is it called, 40 Days for Life? Yeah, 40 Days for Life. You guys know who they are at all? No. 40 they camp days outside life? the abortion no. clinics and stuff How? and protest it for 40 days. They're there all night, all okay, day. Okay, so check this out. If you guys go to the jamhole.com slash YouTube, you'll see a video we made of us protesting the, the protesters. protesters. <laughs> and we had big signs that said, uh, stop child porn, have more abortions, because obviously if there's no children being born, there's no kids for the cho- you, you guys know what I'm talking about. You got okay, it. how many parents do we have in the house? Anyone? Boo. Nice, nice. Who's babysitting all of your kids right now? Wife. You know what's this sad? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Dude, my mom didn't even raise her hand. That's kind of sad. Oh. You just got disowned. Hey, that's oh. not cool. Maybe you were adopted. I don't think I'm being claimed. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, she's being coy. Oh, yeah. She's oh. more proud of her other son than... Oh, go to hell. <laughs> you guys kept that? <laughs> that was a joke. That's what we do. It's, it's funny. That's a joke on you, though. Really. I know. It's a joke on me when I walk into the bathroom and she's there pissing, standing up, and I'm like, damn. <laughs> Dick's just bigger than mine. Mine's bigger than yours. That's all it is. Yeah, well, well, still in the ass. not lately. <laughs> well, <laughs> sometimes. So anyway, a while ago, you know, we were protesting them, and they're they're there just to pray. That's that was the gist of what we came uh, back with on our video. We asked them all these questions and everything, and they're like, "We're just here to pray." Yeah, pray. In the creepiest, <laughs> I swear, behind her eyes, there was like flames and shit. But I have a question. Now, if you guys, for 40 days straight, you prayed, like, shouldn't that be taken care of then? Like, why are you, they're back now praying again for it. Like, they didn't pray hard enough the first time or something. And I, I don't know. When, when do you get to the point where you're like, this isn't working? I give up. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this anymore. Yeah. yeah it's, hey, Matt, it's called faith. Oh, oh yeah, you remember? That's, I hate that. That's the biggest <laughs> cop out. In where the do world. I get that from? Again? We don't know. <laughs> it, How they, do they, I buy that? <laughs> they do that with everything too. Like if they can't figure out something, oh, it, it's God's will, and so it, it's God's will that you guys go out there and pray for you know these children, I guess. And they, uh, I don't know. But there's a whole video of it, and I, I just wanted to say that they're back there because obviously it you know, didn't work the first time. So good job. 40 days. 40 days. <laughs> we, they, we just might have to go out and protest them again. Just I know. Stuff. We might just have to be out there for the full 40 days. I and don't know. I talked to the lady that runs the clinic, and she's like, God, I fucking hate these people. <laughs> she was so great. I, I could just imagine her, like, raspy voice, like, oh, I almost got it. Oh, and then... Oh, and then out in the dumpster it goes where the people are over there praying for them and whatnot. But anyway, so back to what the fuck I was talking about. This Chuckles gag shop, um, they used to sell... Oh, how, what's the a nice A couple, way? like, novelty... Uh, Dildos like, and butt plugs and right. uh, things for you to fuck and for things for, for you to you get to, fucked with. Right. And, 
So she said that all of these uh, Christians, uh, or she, her words, not mine, pseudo-Christians, nice. which I, I understand, like, you have science, and then you have pseudo-science, which is bullshit. Right. It's colloidal silver, you know, praying. Homeopathic remedies. Exactly. All bullshit. You know, there's no scientific evidence for any of that. So I figure you have Christians, and then you have pseudo-Christians, pseudo -Christians. which are the fake ones, right? They're, they just don't work as good. I didn't so, even think there was a difference between them, really. I didn't really say They're yeah. kind of all the same. It's all bullshit. It's all the same. It's the fakers and the real ones. It's all Greek to me, whatever. whatever. But so enough of these people came into her shop to where she actually had to stop selling sex toys. So do Christians not fuck? Because I know you guys fuck. Because I see all your fucking kids everywhere getting in my fucking way, crying and screaming. Who uh, flew here? Do you, you fly here? Johnny, you flew here. Come up here, Johnny. This is uh, John Johnny from Tucson. He's a, a friend of ours from the show. Uh, he actually did our first interview way back when for a school project. So, Mountain Zone. Mountain Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Montana, Johnny. What do you think yeah. of the place so far, our quiet mountain town? Yeah, it's like a, a big campground. Like, the whole state's just good. Pitch a tent. <laughs> anywhere, side of the road. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And that's not a joke. See, I didn't ring the bell because it fucking is. Yeah. We could camp yeah. wherever. So it's great. Fun, <laughs> that's right. So, did you... The truth is funnier than fiction. What? The truth is funnier than fiction. Sometimes. Most times. Unless, anyway. unless Josh writes the truth, then maybe not so much. Uh, but right. We'll get to that later. <laughs> So did you sit next to any uh, little screaming children on the on the way there? Yeah, I sat next to a a woman with a kid, and she was uh, but she breastfed the kids several times. So. Really? Yes. Did you? Uh, did <laughs> did you, you get in on that? I was just gonna ask. He's on it. <laughs> I tapped her on the shoulder. I was like, hey, what about this guy? I'm thirsty. There's no, two I'm of probably, those things. I'm probably the best person to sit next to of a baby because I really don't care. Like, I'll just, like, sleep through it. Whatever. I'm going to sleep. Did you just have, like, headphones on and shit the whole time? Yeah. Ironically, uh, she woke me up because she had to go change the baby. Like, the baby <laughs> oh. didn't wake me up. She's like, tch, tch, tch. I got to go change my like, baby. Like, will you hold this while I wipe its fucking disgusting, <laughs> shitty asshole? Uh, no, no, and then she left for, like, 30 minutes, which oh, was awesome. God, you're lucky, dude. You remember in the Newark airport, Matt ended up screaming at a baby. Yeah. That, it was oh. crying the whole time. They pushed it right by us, and Matt just looked at it and went, Aah! The best way, if you can act more immature than the child that is screaming, the kid will actually stop and be yeah, like, fucking stop, stop it. it. Fuck yeah. what the fuck? It's like, what? Yeah. That's the only Boom. thing that works, too. And I told them, I fucking warned them. I was like, I swear to Christ, if I hear another kid scream, I'm going to scream so much louder. And like, no more than five minutes later, all we hear is, Aah! and I walk over there. I'm like, Aah! and the mom looked at me like, what the fuck? And then Danny like yanked on my leash. I was like, okay, so back to yep, the yep. thing. But yeah, yep. I don't know. I just thought that was really nice of her that she was way into you know what we're trying to do here. And we are uh, currently, I believe, the only podcast in Montana. Anyone else heard of another podcast in Anyone. Montana? Anyone? Anyone? Pardon? Sheepfuckers. Sheep what is that? Sheepfuckers.com? Sheep 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 or? Well, yeah, I think I think, I think for the Sheepfuckers. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, thank you, uh, Braden and Johnny. How about let's have uh, Ward and Josh come on up here? These guys do a podcast in Idaho called, uh, what is it? The Basement Boys with the Zoltan. Basement, Basement Boys with a Z. Zoltan. Josh and Ward, welcome to the jam hole, guys. So, so um, you guys drove here, right? This. Uh, yeah, we're from uh, Idaho. Okay, so I heard now that uh, you, I saw you raise your hand when I asked if, uh, you know, who has kids and everything. Yeah. So how old are your children? Uh, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. Really? How's that so, going? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> did, did they not teach you how to use a condom in school or? Or pulling out? Well, no, actually, out? I, I, wanted, I wanted kids. But, did you really? Uh, yeah. Did you feel that you were grown up and stable enough in your life that I can support not only myself and my bitch wife, I'm just kidding, I've never met her, <laughs> and like my two kids? Because a lot of people right now are having a hard time. Huh? Well, I didn't start having kids until I was 27, so I mean... How old are you now? 30. Holy fuck. Yeah, he's old, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so how's your guys' show going? You, you guys doing all right? <laughs> yeah, we're doing good. Um... I'm not really in charge of that stuff. H I, HR and admin over if here. If you guys ever listen... I just kind of show up hungover. That's, that's really my role. <laughs> if you guys um, ever listen to the show, it, 
I don't know if you guys heard the older episodes with me and Brayden, and every now and then, you know, we'd bicker back and forth, and I'd tell him oh, about... Oh, that, that's all Basement the... Boys. That, that's Basement Boys. Oh, was it? it, it no, that, all of Basement Boys is being worth bitching. Oh, okay. Well, basically, <laughs> that, you know... That's what I, makes it. I would explain to Brayden all the different ways I would want to fuck his mom, and he'd be like, mm, 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 and that's fine, and everything. And, but you guys take it to a whole nother fucking level. Well, I think it's because we actually hate each other. Is I that th- what it I, is? I think it's like... You know, we respect each other enough to show up and do a podcast, but, but underneath, I think we hate actually each hate each other. I, I can't decide whether I hate him or like him. Because that's weird. Because I know I hate him. So over <laughs> dinner, I totally saw your guys' eyes meet, and one of you winked, and it was like the creepiest thing for me to watch. I was like, uh, well, we have a boob tube. We have a boob tube episode called Gaysman Boys. So. <laughs> Gaysman Boys. <laughs> Uh, Fantastic. So, I yeah, take full responsibility for the Gaysman boys. Uh, I, I can see that. That would yeah. be you. How do you get your hair to... Is that a toupee or... How's uh, that... I'm assuming pleading the fifth is not acceptable here. <laughs> no, it's not. not. It's not a combination of having a really douchey hairstylist and hairspray. And oh, a flat iron. Or mom? sorry, straightener. No. Now, My mom is a saint. Which, you, it, who's, hold on. Whose what, what, mother listens to the show all the time? That, that'd be Josh's mom. Okay, because oh I think that's totally really awesome that she's in there and interacts because my mom does the same thing and she's like you know it's the only way I know what the fuck you're doing and stuff everything's great if you could just you know quit fucking cussing so much I'm like sorry mom you know I can't and then I, I get to thinking oh, and I know right that's a quarter in the cuss jar you fucking idiot but I get to thinking and we'll what start to not on the list uh the n-word I believe Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Neapolitan wait okay cream. do we have any black people in the house I don't see a I hear cricket. 125th. <laughs> yeah, I hear cricket. Well, you guys should feel right at home then. <laughs> now, it's weird. You guys are friends with a show called Minor Detail. Oh, here we go. Now, oh, God. this is what I wanted to, to bring up with you guys. A long time ago, we were kind of, you know, pod buddies or whatever faggy name you want to fucking call it. And it kinda they faggy. called us racist. And they were like... You guys say the N-word, but you don't say it in a funny way. You say it to be hateful and shit. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Every time I say it, it's funny. I mean, get the fuck out of here. But then, holla, that's right. But then I see that they're like totally buddy-buddy with you guys. You guys are from like the KKK Central of the U.S. Okay. okay I- Represent. <laughs> How did- <laughs> He'll be the How guy the in the hood. Does, in the How does that happen, though? Well, we, 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 there was some confusion along the way. and uh, They thought you guys weren't racist? Or well, no. <laughs> easy confusion. I mean, no, no, see, we were reaching out to a podcast that, that thinks they're, they're better than they are. And, uh, NLO? Keeping the girl? Um, no, no, we're speaking, of the, we're, we're speaking of the podcast. MD. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's not that they're a terrible podcast, but they're, they're very... Uh, Pretentious and, uh, yeah. and kind of full of themselves. Yeah, and kind of full of shit. So, so hey, but specifically the the main the main person. So but. the moral of the story is fuck minor detail. Thank you guys very much. Uh, basement oh, boys. I was to fuck minor detail, not to us. Yet. Oh right, yeah. Oh, fuck fuck minor detail <laughs> and fuck these guys. Thank no, you. No, thank no wait, no, hold on. Don't whoa, fuck these whoa. guys. War. Big not dicks me. to the front. Hold on. Remember I just hang out. I'm just the drunk guy. Okay, I don't, well, I don't really know anything go going on. Get the fuck out of here. Take your seats. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming all the way up don't from Idaho. Don't get an acceptance speech or something. Yeah. Like, uh, do you want a speech? No. Get the fuck oh, out. Yeah, get the fuck go out speech out of here. down there. Basement boys with a Z, everyone. Thank you very Zoltan. much. Zoltan. <laughs> Zoltan. <laughs> what a shot. Uh, no, I'm good right now. Thanks though. After party, your Not hotel yet. room though. Your wow. hotel room. Yeah, yeah. Big dicks to the front and Big bears. And bears to the front. Now, okay, I want to talk to the local people. Who are my local people right here? Local people. Yeah, look at that. Did you did you know we had this many local uh, fans? Not a fucking or wait, clue. How many local people are here to kick my ass because I put a sticker in your business somewhere that you didn't like? <laughs> <laughs> I picked you up from fucking Missoula in your car, bro. With my work, with my work truck. Is my boss here? Anyone? My uh, boss. Fantastic. Okay. Because he said he was maybe gonna show up. Oh, but my coworker's here. Hi, Cody. That's my uh, office lady, everyone. Say hi and make her feel awkward. Hi, Cody. Hi, Cody. Uh, hi. How you doing? Okay, so local people. We've already established a few things here. Nobody believes in God, and you guys are local, and there's no black people here, right? So far, right. so good? Okay. Good. Have you guys ever been to the courthouse here? Around, you know where Anybody. courthouse quarters? Who's I've been, been to jail here? 
<laughs> that one, you went to jail today, that doesn't count. And we'll hear about that in a minute. Okay, now you know how we have this whole huge separation of church and state, right? Don't keep, you know, keep God out of my politics, keep the politics away from God, but that never right. happens. Okay, have you guys ever seen in front of the courthouse, there's all those big, they look like headstones, kind of, right? They're, yeah. they're like those cemetery-looking things. Yeah. We have, what, there's the Bill of Rights, uh, the Constitution, and there's a couple other things. Uh, the, uh, what's Preamble. it called? What's it called? The Preamble? I'll, I'll buy that. And then there's the Ten Commandments. And that blows my fucking mind, because all of the... Uh, the political things, why we're such a great country and we're strong and there's no economic downturn whatsoever. I mean, you flew from Florida to hear us talk. He's rich, that's fine. And then <laughs> the, the Ten Commandments is like a foot and a half taller and bigger than all of these things that we were founded on and stuff. Did, has anyone know what I'm talking about? Because that... Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. It's kind of weird. No. So after the show, we're all going to go there in my work truck, and we're going to back over it, and we're going to rip... No? Okay. Can I say no. that? Uh, I wouldn't do that if you don't want evidence. Yes. We can use my car for that. Your car all doesn't right. run. All five of them. None of them run. If, if you guys... Stop buying you, junk. Hey, you're one to talk. Does, uh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. That was does, very mean. Does anybody know who put sugar in Danny's gas tank? Cause well, yeah, that would hands. be wonderful. Anybody? I gotta show hands because that's on right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sitting to your left. <laughs> I no, we already went through that last show. Yeah, yeah, that was horrible. So I'm sure if uh, you guys have all heard that I uh, have a little problem, problem. <laughs> a problem, if you will, With like my, kinda like uh, I have a problem also, but yours is a little funnier. Uh, yeah, uh, yours is. Syndrome? Pardon? Limp dick syndrome? No, it's no, cystic no, it's syndrome. Oh, that's what I heard anyway. <laughs> Should we even be talking about it's this? It's a cystic syndrome. It's a little... Uh, okay, so anyway, to catch everybody up, since I was about 12 or 13, I've had this little lumpy thing on my penis, and no, Mark, it's not my balls, but thank you. And, um... <laughs> and, you know, I was a little kid, and I didn't ever think anything of it, and when you're a little kid, the last thing you want to do is be like, Mommy, you know, look at my dick. What is this? You know? So I ignored it. It didn't hurt. It made it, you know, kind of weird here and there because, you, you know, know I thought I was totally different and, like, fucked up or something. You know, I think we've talked about this Remember for at least... Until it peed? What? Uh, no, I don't. I think that's your own childhood. Anyway, you but, um, anyway. <laughs> shut up. We've talked about this, I think, at least six Oh, wait, episodes. hold on. Remember when you were in a band? Yeah. Oh. oh, so sad. Sad face. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go hey, ahead. I'm doing a show. I don't know if you know this or not. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, but we've been talking about this for at least the past six episodes, and I think every time we talk about it, it gets that much more funnier. And I cry. I a can't bit help more. it. Every time I'm still that much interested in this growth on his dick. Oh, I can't yeah. help She's it. She's like the greatest girlfriend ever. She's I'm like, like, oh, look. look she, I'm like, can you hold it? Because it's hard to hold your dick and put a band aid on it. Has anyone ever tried to put a band aid on their dick before? <laughs> no? Look, no Show hands. hands. No All right. hands. Awkward crickets. I should have brought cricket sound effects. You should have. But yeah, she was great. She's like, oh, here we go. And she puts it on and then she kisses it and then tucks it back in my pants and everything's cool. But anyway, so I finally, you know, it's been bugging me. I've had it for about. 15 Ever. years now, forever now. Right. And I tried to cut it off a couple times, and you guys Didn't can work. hear all about that in uh, other shows. And I, I always get, like, halfway through, and then I'm thinking, like, my dick, my dick gets hard because of blood going through it. I don't know enough about my dick. I mean, I know a lot about my dick. Let's, <laughs> you know, let's be serious here. But I don't know where those veins are. And... Every time I do it, the last thing that goes through Something's my mind happen. is me laying on the floor holding a knife in one hand and my dick in the other and, like, someone walking in and being like, Holy shit, what did you just do? <laughs> the fuck? Like, okay, where's the cameras at? Ha, 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 ah, funny. And I'm like, you know. So I, it heals and, you know, I have to drain it every now and then. It's totally gross and whatever. So I finally go to the doctor. Got a great job, got health insurance. It's fucking awesome. Um, how's your insurance? Uh, next month. Never got mind. it. So, 30 days. the doctor, oh, yeah. 
the first time I went there, our fans, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but our fans pulled together and donated $100 for me to get an STD test. Our I've, fans are actually pricks. Our fans are assholes. <laughs> now, I didn't know because I've never had an STD did you just test call before. Us all assholes? I think we just No, did. not not our fans <laughs> here. These the are ones, our friends. The ones who donated to get Matt the STD Right. Test. It was three people and they each donated $33 and they're like, "Ha ha ha." I was like, well, that's fine. Draw my blood, whatever, no big deal. What I didn't realize is that for an STD test, they actually take a little Q-tip and put it right up in your dickle. <laughs> Has anyone ever had that? Who's that STD test here? All right. Oh, <laughs> sad. They, oh, wow, guys. Sad. Who has AIDS here? <laughs> Everyone that did raise from... their hand. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so... I, I finally go to the doctor and stuff, and the first time I went, and I'm like, I might as well get this STD test done. And I think back to listening to Distorted View, and I'm like, the dickhole guy, right? If this guy, there's this guy that he used to be a porn star way back when, ended up getting AIDS or something back in the 70s. So the only kind of work he could get was... I you know, love weird, this guy. It's weird, freaky shit. And one of the things he was known for was putting his little finger in his dick hole. And his thing was like, oh man, did you see, see what I just did? did? Oh, just, just and did? he just like fucks his dick hole. So I'm thinking, if this crazy motherfucker can put a finger in his dick hole, like what's a Q-tip, you right? A Q-tip, no big Holy deal. fucking shit, man! That worst pain I've ever felt Let's in my life. Let's go ahead and uh, reenact what the doctor said before he did it. Oh, That's the doctor hilarious. totally, like, he saw me looking, and I'm sitting there, and I hate telling the story again because it's on another episode, but since you guys are here, I'll indulge you. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Do I hold my dick, or does he do it? Like, what's the proper etiquette, right? So I, I hold it, and I'm, like, back against the chair, and he keeps coming closer, and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. Back and up. And I hold it, and, like, I... I Pick it up and it, it's so small right now because it knows it's about to get wrecked and I'm like fuck, dude. So Don't I, lie. I kind of like open the the hole like so he can see what he's doing and he's like, I, I I'll do this and he grabs the dick, grabs the Q-tip and right before he puts it in he says, I'm so sorry and he just puts it in and I'm like, fuck, dude and I like, out of total reaction I jump back. And he like let go after that. And so I looked down and now there's a Q-tip hanging out of my dick and I thought it was over. So I'm like, well, that wasn't so bad. And he's like, I actually have to pull that out now. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but pulling it out uh, hurts a little more than pushing it in, which was weird to me. But yeah, so he yanked it out and everything was fine. Anyway, I got the ST uh, test back, totally negative, I win. So, so how, then, how's your sis doing? So then I show him that, and he's like, you should probably go see the urologist, which we mentioned on it's a... a penis doctor. Right, right. Or a urology doctor, whatever that means. But Not it, a clue. We mentioned this uh, a couple episodes ago. That seems really weird that I have a urologist now. Like, I'm 28? 20, uh, right, almost 29. Right. And I have a urologist. And I feel like an old crippled man, so... I, I go to the appointment, and after showing the first doctor my dick, like, now I'm showing everybody my dick. Like, it ain't no thing, right? I'm like, hey, Brayden, check this out. He's like, whoa, that's hey, weird. Hey, Uncle Wayne, check like, this out. Hey, uh, Ashley, Raise check your this hand out. in here if you've seen my dick. Okay, there's one. There's one. Wayne, I know you saw it. I got Uncle my hand Wayne. up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which is... <laughs> Huge. It's fucked up, right? So I go to the urologist and, you know, I, I just, I'm ready now. I'm like fucking dropping trail, like, here's my dick, check it out, doc. And he like looks at he's like, whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> and that's the last thing you want to hear from another dude when your dick is in his hand. And I'm like, J-O? And he's like, that's not what I'm here for. I'm like, okay, no J-O, that's fine. But, <laughs> so... He is like, okay, I'm going to give you a prescription for some antibiotics just in case, you know, you got some bacteria up in your shit and uh, some other shit, which I never even got filled, whatever. And uh, he's like, you need to get a warm compress, which I didn't know what that it's like was. It's cloth and hot water. I'm sweating How like pig How retarded are you? But um, I didn't know that. A compress? It's something warm. You put on something. It's a comp, you know, you compress something. Right, I know warm what compression compress. You got okay, it? Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. So, he's like, you need to get this as hot as you possibly can and wrap it around your dick. 
And I'm like, that, nothing about that sounds Sounds good at all. all. (laughs) So then he's like, and also you need to take, you know, super hot baths and just soak in there. And I'm like, how much have you done of that? Absolutely none of it. I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to go back in in a couple weeks and see him. And he's going to be like, wow, it got much better. My advice was right. And I'm going to be like, no, I got you. I didn't do any of that. So what I didn't realize is the other night we went camping with uh, Mark, MDS, and Burger there. We went up to Glacier Park because they, they came in kind of early My and stuff. My hoodie still smells like a campfire. Right. And right. That, that was awesome. That was awesome. It's really sad, though, when you call into work and then the next day you come in and you smell like a campfire. They're like, uh, I thought you were sick. What were you doing? It's like I was very sick and by a campfire the whole time. Right. So... Um, we're driving around, we go fishing and stuff, and you uh, caught... What'd you catch? Uh, oh, absolutely uh, nothing! I caught... That's a joke. I mean, it's serious, but that's... <laughs> I caught some water. It was good. Right, but yeah, we're going to take you guys fishing to actually maybe catch fish. What, yeah. was, what was the running joke about what? it's called fishing, it's not called catching? It's not catching. called catching! Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right, anyway, so I get out of the truck, right? And all of a sudden, I feel like I peed my pants, and I'm like... <laughs> No fucking way, not here. I'm out in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's not really any bathrooms. And I just, I'm down by the campfire and all of a sudden I just get this weird look. And it was kind of dark too. And the bathrooms out in the park, they don't have light. Oh, I didn't go anywhere near the bathroom because I wasn't taking the antibiotics, right? Right. So that that would have been bad. My whole dick fall off and then. Right. (laughs) So I fucking, I, I. I go back to the truck, and I'm like, I know I didn't pee my pants, obviously, because I'm a big boy. Big boys don't pee their pants. I first thought you peed your pants. And I fucking pulled my pants down, and holy fucking shit, the whole cyst had just exploded in my pants. Yep. Cyst, disgust, what's that stuff called? Fluid. Yeah, pus. Pus, Pus. (laughs) yeah. Stinky, disgusting, bloody pus. Yep. All, like, down my pant leg and shit. So I'm taking paper towels, and at this point... I'm sitting in the truck, doors locked, windows up, with the paper towel. I didn't know where he was. I was like, where the hell did Matt And I hear going? them. I can hear them talking. They're like, where's Matt? And I'm like sinking down like Matt's not in here with his pants around his ankles, fucking with his dick. And so I'm like grabbing paper towels and I'm draining it now because, you know, I'm I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to go all the way home just for this. I'm a man. It? Did you pop it like a zip? It popped already. That It, it exploded, he dude. He kept squeezing it to make more shit come out of but it. But you got to drain the rest of it. So I'm in there, and all of a sudden I see her coming up. And she, like, looks in the window and just starts laughing. <laughs> like, thanks, honey. That's funny, right? Ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, I'm like, shh, shh. Don't say anything to them. This is the worst thing that's ever happened so to me. So the first thing almost. I do is I go over there. Hey, hey guys, Matt's over here playing with his dick. Come check this out. I'm like, you fucking bitch. Hey, Why you know would what? you do that? At least he got you a first aid kit to put a band-aid on your penis. He did, and they're over there. I hear them like taking Giggling. Turns. Who's going to bring it to him and shit? Like, I was like, you do it. You I don't want to do it. You fucking do it. So uh, basically, I, I end up like draining it. Oh, excuse my face. Woo! Woo! Draining it as much as I can. That's what sucks about pop filters. If you burp, the smell like lingers in them. It's <laughs> disgusting. disgusting. Um, so, I, I, I'm just draining it as much as I can. And Dude, now, there's like, there's like six paper towels filled with this smelly, bloody, nasty. <laughs> it was so gross. He's so like, then, look, baby, it's pretty. I mean, for you. <laughs> That's not, that's I'm, not well, if, macaroni if you, art, okay? If you bleed into a paper towel and then fold it a bunch of times and then open it, it's like tie-dye. Is that on your guys' website? Can I get that? Or uh, actually, probably. you go to thegemmall.com slash Twitter. Actually, what I, toilet. what I didn't tell Rochelle is that uh, there's some back there. If anyone wants, no. <laughs> it's marked in a biohazard. Yes. I want it. I want one. Go get it. Five bucks. Shut the fuck I was going to do 10. That shit's expensive in other countries. 25 bucks. Great. <laughs> so I end up, you know, doing that and wrapping a, a Band-Aid around it, like a little boo-boo, and she's like, let me help you with that. Being a smartass, she's loving it because usually I never get sick. It's always her, right? And we, we've told this story before about how now she has a cyst in her thing, but hers is inside her, and it's the size oh, yeah, of a baby. that's so much better. And its name you. is Paul. Its name is Paul. I have named it. it is that was the size Wednesday's, of a th- Wednesday's episode yep. is called Paul. It is the size why. of a three-month-old fetus. 
Hoorah me, I might as well be pregnant. So Spoken then that, that made me start thinking, like, maybe I don't even like you. Maybe our sis were, like, fucking just, like, oh, ah, yeah. You're a sis. And then it's like, oh, there's pump in you. Oh, sis. And then it just blows up again and makes little baby sis. But at least, I do want to say, at least my doctor isn't feeding my sis. Because every time you go to the doctor, it gets bigger. Like it's yeah. growing. Yeah. And there's more. Nuvia rings. Holla! Whee! Holla at the Nuvia rings. So, pardon? Good thing to grow abortion. I know. Yes, that's why right. right. I told her the abortion's going to be cheaper than actually having cyst surgery. Actually, this abortion that I'm getting is $6,000, okay? Yeah, right. So, I, I go to work this morning because I, I told my boss a while ago, if you guys know who Ryan Augusta is? Yeah. Yeah, you know who he is. So, uh, a while ago, what was it, this summer, we were at Aussie Palooza. Who was at Aussie Palooza? Yeah. Aussie yeah. Palooza is a good party. Anyway, is Ryan here? No. I don't okay. think so. Well, that big pussy took like two days off before his show and two days off after his show. So we me, both work today. Me being a smart ass, I go up to my boss and I'm like, hey, I'm going to do this show and I'm not going to take any time off work, which I now I, I should have, but whatever. Most definitely should have. So hey, You're taking Monday off. Well, right, because I have to take everyone, you know, out fishing to make up for her fucking fail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I, I get to work this morning and my boss is like, how's your dick? And I'm like, could you please not say it like that? <laughs> you're, again. you're my boss and the last thing I want to do is discuss my dick. So he's like, I, I told him what happened. I was like, you know, it, it exploded while I was camping and shit and it's bad. He's like, well, you should probably call your urologist. And I'm like, it, it didn't seem like a big deal to me. But then the more I got to thinking of it. When I looked at it, it's like... It is kind of a big deal. There's a fucking know. hole in my dick now. Not at the top not where it should be. Hole. So I call the urologist and I leave him a message because it's early. And I left the most awesome message. I, I, <laughs> I, I wasn't like... This yet. I wasn't like, oh, well, I have a cyst on my penis and it burst. I was like, I was in there last week and I had this cyst on my dick and it exploded all over my pants. And I, I was like as vulgar as I possibly could. <laughs> Could be. And the boss was like, you know, call a dog, make sure you can work and everything. So they call me back and she's like, yeah, it was supposed to do that. Are you fucking like, serious? You couldn't tell me that, oh, by the way, okay, if you do. going to blow up in your pants. Yeah, if you, know. if you do what we tell you to do, that thing's just going to explode. She's like, yeah, that's what we need it to do. I'm like, tell me? What the fuck? I'm yeah, walking around in, with, a, with a ticking time bomb in my fucking pants. That's it's ridiculous. Like a jumping out of the cake. It's right. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. I know. Surprise. Oh. Now your crotch stinks. Explosion cool. in the pants. Yay. <laughs> Throw away those pants. Burn them, please. So who, who here has a dick? A anyone? What? Wow. Brain, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so have any of you guys had surgery on your dick or anything like that? My brother. Have you Raise really? Yes, he has, actually. Did they do the surgery to make you gay or to try and get rid of the gay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Any guys want some hot lovings, though? He's the man. Huge actually, talk. he's in love with a girly right now. Hold on, whoa! Hold on, come up here, Mikey. You come on, Mikey. Dana's brother, everyone. Come over here, little man. You want to come sit next to me? Okay. Oh, God. Do you have any uh, boy you would like to have come up and sit next to you? No. Okay, so know. how can you date a chick if you're gay, bro? Uh, I don't think I'm really You know what that's but... called? Twat. Cheating. <laughs> cheating? <laughs> that's oh. called cheating. You can't be gay and fuck chicks, dude. We, the straight guys, need the chicks to fuck, okay? Don't be taken out of our pool. Who here is single? Anyone single Out. here? Have you, well, locals, I'm sorry, out of my locals, who here is single? Is everyone hooked up? That's why you were the last thing I could find. That's yeah, fucked probably. up, you guys. I'm blaming all of you. <laughs> but it is fucking tough as shit to find a girlfriend in this town that doesn't have a kid. If you want to, like, be a dad and shit, it's great. It is, dude. I even tried. I fucking tried you know my what? damnedest. You know what line was? Check this out. Hey, how old are you? 23? Yeah, how many kids do you have? None? Want to go hang out? Done. Done and done. And we <laughs> fucked that night, and we've been fucking ever since. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> my hundredth episode, my hundredth anniversary was uh, last episode two forty nine. Yeah, a hundred episodes. Yeah, that was our first date. So yeah, you're in love with a girl now. I'm pretty proud of you. I don't know if you're quite gay. I actually, when you told me you were with a girl, I was as shocked as I was when you told me you were gay. You're like, yeah, no, that, was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> hey, it's like, whoa. She's like, wait a sec, a, a, a girl? It's what? Cool, hey, what? it's cool if the girl has an Adam's apple, dude. High five. <laughs> Got it. Ah, all right. Well, thank you very much, Michael. I think, I think oh, we have a question. See? Does anyone, oh, sorry. My bell's broken. You know, I stole this from the office. Is my boss here now? No, okay. we're good. This is the office bell. Yes, I, Josh, Ward, whatever the fuck your name is. Big I, Red. I wasn't told there'd be gay people here. Oh, is that okay? <laughs> are you, are you well, hey, I got a present for you. Ryan, open the door. Bring in the black people. Yeah! <laughs> ah, I'm totally kidding. There's no, there's, there's no black people in Montana. Get the, get the fuck out of here. You know better than that shit. Oh, All right, man. well, sure. moving on then. How many of you guys are into country music? Anyone listen to country? I know we got Alan some. Jackson. Okay. Sense. The fuck out of here. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> get, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, so you guys listen to the Bear? What's your radio station? What's the station of choice? Six nine, the Outlaw. The, the Outlaw. You're making that up. My no, mom. No, I'm not. Okay, well, uh, can we get your mom up here uh, with your brother, please? No? no. no? Mom, right. no, come on well, up. Mind. Okay, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Do you <laughs> come up? So I was in this office the other day, and they had the bear on, and it was uh, this thing called a bear Oh, can God. Can anyone tell me what a bear is? The only is? person who would be able to is the one who's refusing to come up right now. That's so. fine, then. Yes, Ben. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. A whole bunch of big fat gay men fucking each other. A bear of the. Oh! 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 <laughs> All right, done and done. Done and done. You guys are just burning through my notes here. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys know how many uh, people here have a colon? Uh, not a semicolon. Everyone raise your fucking hand. I, I, I know we're not all super smart, but we all have colons. I've had a colonoscopy. <laughs> I know I have one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm what? watching. Okay. Now. Did you guys know that we have a place called AquaSoothe Colon Hydrotherapy? Oh, no. Maybe what the hell is that? Maybe Except that's, for that's where... My interest. Tell me more. Okay. Maybe that's where I should have had my colonoscopy done, maybe? Uh, maybe? Yeah, except for that's totally not what they do there. Is that so colon cleansing? We are such a civilized people here that, you know, sometimes maybe my colon's not feeling so fresh. So... I would go... You want to feel funky fresh? Funky fresh. <laughs> f- fr- fresh. So I would go to Aqua Soothe, and what Not they would do... Or, or that. Right. If, if you're into that. Or a gay guy. Or, I it out. Or that also. You're going to get some tail tonight, bud. Is that what gay Fuck guys off. call it? Do they call it getting tail, or are they just like straight <laughs> dick pumping? What do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm, in, I'm curious. Not bi-curious. I saw that, you fucking smart ass. That's my brother. He looks like me, a little skinnier, not as cute. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and so, that works for mine. <laughs> basically, what this place does, and we actually keep in mind now, we pay money to have this done to us. What they do, you sit down, or you lay down, probably, butt up, face down, ass up. That's the way we like to fuck, right? Woo. And uh, they take a big hose, and they jam it up your asshole. I'm not even making this up. I asked the people because I might maybe deliver it to them. Anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. They take a hose and then they just constantly run water into your anus. Your rectum. It's called me. I don't understand that either. That and a barathon, if you guys could explain those two things. Like, why? So, what is in your colon, dude? That you need it flushed you would out. Know. Fuck off. Shit. So, so, how, so exactly how does it feel, Dana? Then poo. <laughs> how does a colonoscopy feel? Let's hear it. Actually, I don't remember a damn thing. No, Thank see, God. that's different. A colonoscopy is getting a camera shoved up your it's ass. You drain snakes. Colon hydrotherapy <laughs> is getting water shoved up your ass. Right. I had a cool camera up mine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, th- it's just weird to me that like we're so civilized, we bleach our anuses, we flush our anuses out with water, we do some fucked up. We junk. drain our Weird. penises. If, if <laughs> they need to. Is that the American dream? Yeah. Colon, hydro- yeah. colon hydrotherapy and gay sex. Good, Josh. Good. Good. Good going. Shit. 
Yeah. So <laughs> then, uh, we mentioned the iPod entries. If you guys, any local people, like I said earlier, if you guys want to sign up to win that uh, 120 gig iPod, I have it here somewhere, but I'm not uh, prepared. I your so bag that. somewhere, yeah. All right, so. But it's a 120 gig iPod. Super cool. It's got all of our episodes on it. How many people here smoke weed? Uh, yo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Party in the hotel after this. Uh, how many? How many of you guys have your medical card? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? See, this is why legalizing weed will never work. We don't give a fuck. I could go. I get. Hey, Odie, you got a sack? Yeah, bro. Here it is. Done. No medical done card. Done. No dispensary. I mean, you know, hypothetically, <laughs> is Odie's mom here? Are the police Salvia. here? Salvia. Salvia. Uh, there you go. But I, th I think that's really awesome that Montana is one of the states that has medical weed and we can blaze that shit up pretty much whenever and, you know, no one gives a fuck. But if you can get your card, why wouldn't you? Are we just too stoned to do it? No, we spent all of our <laughs> Is that what it well, is? That, is that what it is? It's, it's just too expensive. So we would just rather go and just keep getting weed from our friends for probably cheaper and better weed than whatever they're. Okay. I'm learning a lot today. I, yeah. Okay. All my local people. Who here, <laughs> who's heard of uh, Skull Church? Who's yeah. seen those? Okay. I've seen the bumper stickers, that's about it. Who is a member of Skull Church? Are you serious? Whoa. Adam, come up here. I'm joking. Uh, you're a fucking liar. Somebody Don't ever do that. What the hell makes you think I'm okay. a church? Okay, thank you. What exactly is Skull Church? I don't even know. Okay, basically, it. Skull Church is this guy. His name is Levi Lusco. He came up here from California and brought a whole caravan of his... Uh, r religious people, aka realtors and whatnot, and they and <laughs> Levi Lusco. It sounds like a pedophile. Uh, pro pro possibly, I don't want to get sued or anything. He might be, but anyway, I, we've been seeing these things everywhere. They're fucking stupid stickers everywhere, and it's like it's God for hit people, because you know there's different gods for different things. Even though the first commandment is you should probably just have one God, because God is a jealous dick. So. <laughs> They do their little, you know, services every Wednesday or whatever, and he's like, it was probably uh, a South Park episode where it's like the cool hip uh, pastor comes into town with his lip pierced and his, his skull patch or soul patch or whatever it's called and his slick back hair and leathers on his motorcycle and then the fucking alien from inside him like busts out and is like, ah, and enslaves the whole human race. And that was the, um, that's how District 9 ended. No. In case anyone's seen it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, spoiler alert, by the way. Yeah, about that. All right, well, before... Yeah, Johnny actually has a church like that out in Tucson. Did you say it was like the cool church? Yeah. Actually called the cool church. Well, I've that's heard so the cool church. <laughs> the cool church, dude. That's almost just as bad as skull church. I've heard a lot of people, you know... The, I don't fucking know. Fuck it. I hate them. But anyway. So if so, you want to make fun of on. Skull Church. To combat all of the Skull Church stickers and whatnot, back there we've made Jam Hole Church stickers. Do you show them out uh, there? Oh, surely. We have round ones. Now, we have a fan in Germany. His name's Bob. He does a podcast called Fahrenheit404.com. If anyone speaks German, I do not. But um, he is an OCD graphic designer, and he made these uh, stickers for us. So... Uh, those are back there on the table if you guys want them. Um, real quick, before we, I got a few stories here I'd like to share with you guys before we call it an evening. Uh, a hand for uh, my brother, Michael. Mikey. Mikey, thank you. Let me get, um, let me get Burger and uh, MDS. Why don't you guys come up here? Hey, if you would. These guys came all the way from Florida and Michigan uh, in that order. I would like to thank you guys for coming all the way out. We weren't even going to do this until you guys had plane tickets, so... How you guys doing? Mark and uh, Peter? Yes. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater? Doing great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> How, what do you guys think of Montana? Is this your first time here? Yes, yeah. it is. Very nice. Both of you? Yes. Okay. So, what, what do you think of our, uh, our park? Glacier Park, first time there, obviously. 
Very beautiful. Now, very cold at night. You guys <laughs> camped out there the other night, and I remember we finished up the Wednesday night show, and if you guys listen to the show, you'll know as soon as we're done, uh, we play some music, we go outside and smoke. And I remember I'm standing out there, I'm like, man, it's fucking cold out here. Yeah, and then I'm thinking, like, you fools are up in the park, which is at least, what, 20 degrees oh, colder yeah. than that? Damn right. And I'm like, are they going to be okay? Not thinking that this guy is like 20 years my elder here. Not uh, 20. I'm just kidding. Uh, but she's like, dude, he's a grown-ass man. He'll be fine. I'm like, but it's so cold. You think he would sleep in his car? And what did I tell you? I was like, if he got too cold, you know he'd sleep in his car or drive his ass here. Well, and that's what I asked. I'm like, he's not going to die. I'm like, does he have enough sense to know that he's welcome at our house? Like, if, if he freezes his I think he off. knew. So you guys having a good time? Is this uh, worth the trip all the way from Florida and Michigan? That blows. I can't get over that, you guys. You guys came from, you know, down the street or Whitefish or, you know, wherever you're from. Fucking Florida Congrats. to come hang out my with My home us. state. Amazing. <laughs> blows my mind. All right. No, I got, con- congratulations, uh, guys. You guys are doing a great yeah, job. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm. 250 episodes. I got a couple stories I want to share with you guys uh, before we call it a night here. Uh, who is coming Saturday with us camping and whatnot? That was part of the thing. For the people that flew in and any local people that wanted to come, we were going to go camping and hang out and whatnot. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a little after party after this in one of their rooms, which is connected here. Uh, we're going to smoke some weed. We're going to drink some beers. We're going to just kind of kick back. If you guys want to hang out with us and whatnot, it'll be it's pretty fun. Good stuff. Now, who here? All right. Hey, I know. I know. I'm losing your attention. It's fine. Listen up real quick. Who used to play Dungeons and Dragons? Or still no. does? Or still does? <laughs> All right, now check this out. It started as a game of wizards, right? With three 10 year old boys. Oh my Christ, you're gonna oh. fucking kill me. Cheers, there you go. everybody. Cheers, I don't drink, but uh, down the fucking hatch. Cheers. Thank you. I don't Thank even you. know what this is. Drink it. Chris the fuck, drink it. Chris, can you take this There you go. Thank ah! you. That's why I don't drink. Anyway, so three 10-year-old boys are playing. They're casting make-believe spells, right? Uh, On a chicken. (laughs) Keep in mind, on a chicken, in a chicken coop. Then, (laughs) this is where it all goes shitty. The game turns serious quickly, though, when the boys tried to light the end of a stick to create a magic wand. You're taking a stick, lighting it on fire. This is my magic wand, right? Uh, their effort, which involved gasoline and a raid spray can as an igniter, went Ari. How's that pronounced? Where's Ward at, you fucking Arai. spelling Nazi? Ari? <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, it went awry, and one boy suffered severe burns to his legs, stomach, and chest. With a magic Whoa. fireball, dude. Like a staff of might plus what? <laughs> what is it? Plus five? Plus six? What's the fireball staff? Plus six? Uh, I don't know what level Sprays it, really gasoline, is. fucking fireball, blows his friend you know what? up. You know what? I still don't even think that's as cool as Timmy getting shot twice, okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We'll bring you I, up real quick I before. I don't think that's as cool as no? getting shot. Okay, he's just getting chill there. But yeah, uh, everyone look back there, my Mexican friend Timmy. His dad actually shot him and tried to kill him. I would like twice. to say. Fuck your dad and your mom for giving him the bullets. That's fucking bullshit. They ever try to kill my friend again, I'm going to fucking kill them. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, no. see, that was a joke, right? I right, sure. Okay. But seriously, you touch him again, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this kid was taken to the, to the hospital, obviously, and then they had to fly him. And guess where this happened? Uh, what state? What is Florida? Florida! Oh, what is it about Florida? Our, Our most, most fucked up, up state. state. Fantastic. Uh, so the sheriff's report said Sebastian, his brother Seth, and a friend were playing their wizard game when Sebastian tried to light the stick. The friend accidentally knocked over a small bucket of gasoline. Oops. Oops. Uh, which spilled on the ground near the kid's feet, and uh, then he struck the match. Spark flew and it blew them all up. His mom came out running and screaming, thank God I didn't like that kid anyways. Right. So, (laughs) who has a MySpace account here? Everyone online, web 2.0 shit? You guys all have MySpaces and everything? You know- DOS system. DOS? What? Yeah. (laughs) You're an idiot. What's DOS? (laughs) I'm kidding. So, you guys ever like uh, try and hook up with chicks on MySpace? 
tried it once. It's how everyone does it. It's how everyone does it. Come on. Try to <laughs> That's why you have antivirus. Ah, come on. As long as you pay your subscription. How you get cystic penises. So uh, this dude uh, of the Castro Valley calls himself Psycho Sam, rapped about thrill of killing people. Is that, are you Psycho Sam? Sean, yes. Yeah, you. Do you rap about killing people? Absolutely not. I can see that, you know, that, that would make for very interesting, you know, topics to rap about. I mean, wow, that blows my mind. How many words rhyme with trigger? Oh. My, where's my Idaho? Where's my red? Ah, yeah. All right, that's, that's great. So uh, the 20-year-old's message board on MySpace was dominated by a different theme. A teen girl from Virginia, Emma Niederbrock, lavishing him with affection. Quote, you are my one and only everything, uh, they wrote. And then they went to go visit each other in person. Uh, and uh, basically, they, up. they went to a, a concert. You guys know what horrorcore is? I don't horror even know what, that is. what the hell is I, I don't know. It's probably crap anyway. But they went to this horrorcore concert, uh, and then he killed her and three others in her home. The moral of the story. Anyone? Don't meet Any anybody on MySpace? Absolutely. Right. Don't actually meet people on MySpace unless, you know, you know that you're the one doing the killing, then whatever. Say you know, I actually have a friend in Florida that actually hooked up with his wife on uh, Matchmate.com or And whatever. they're still together? They're still together. I think it's six years that now. That is fucking impressive. It's pretty crazy. They talked for like a year before they actually met, though. So. And that's that's how it works. It's so much easier now because not only do you, are you, you're not confined to your... You know, it's, state. It's very easy to get your point across rather than talking to people. I'm and dating just worldwide, and I'm raping from California to New York and okay. everywhere in between. Cause that's you know, I I'm into horrorcore. That's what we do. We rape or that's rap. Oh wait, he raps. Never, sorry, no, right. okay. he did rape her. Uh, quote: It's a horrific crime. It's hard to imagine what these people must have gone through. Probably a lot of like intestines and go no. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, that's probably what he went through. <laughs> that's exactly. Uh, asked about possible motive in the slaying, the guy said, "I wish I knew. She was just a bitch, and that's just how it went down." <laughs> Efforts to reach McCrossy's family in the valley were unsuccessful, of course, because are you really? If you did some fucked up shit, and you're getting a phone call, it's unavailable or a number you don't recognize. You're going to maybe pick it up, and it's going to be like, hi, I'm from the newspaper. I like, like, are you going to give them a comment at all? And that, it's so stupid. Every story that we read, they're always like, and no one, we couldn't reach anyone for a comment. Like, no fucking shit, you idiot. Did you actually think you would? Uh, he said horrorcore is a legitimate art form that reflects reality in the world and had nothing to do with the slayings. I'm just into the music, all about killing and raping people. But hey, that wasn't <laughs> that me. That has nothing to do. With I had absolutely life. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Nothing at uh, all. There's no difference from what we do than going out on a Friday night to the newest horror movie that came out, or turning on the news and hearing about brutal bloodshed and violence, or listening to the jam hole and you know bloody violence and cysts and whatnot. Right. Um, yeah. So they're all dead. And the moral of the story is, don't fuck people you met on MySpace. I actually actually have a pretty good question here. Oh, do we to, have uh, questions? Did a people... couple. I got one, I forgot. I forgot one about uh, that. image. <laughs> I enjoy what is that? It's, a, it's you. It's your penis. No, that's not. Give me the marker. Lump. Where's the marker? I'll I, don't, I can't reach it. Fine. Okay, never mind. But yeah, that's uh, not my penis. Mine's way like girthier. <laughs> Come on. This one says uh, your hole. I, I, it's a hole. It's great. This Thank you. One, I, I very much enjoy. Uh, it says, out of the basement, boys, who pitches and who catches? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know, I know, look, I know. Look, there's, a, there's an illustration here. <laughs> Whose work is this? That is beautiful. <laughs> My brother, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I'm gonna have to say, since you're the, uh, you're a little heftier, shall we say, you're probably the catcher. More baby Because in, in her uh, opinion, most most uh, pitchers like something nice and soft to lay into. Some little cushion. Uh, what's it? That absolutely fantastic. Any more questions? Uh, Any more written questions? Down? No. Yes. Oh. What do you guys think? Our first live show. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
I really, though, honestly, I appreciate you guys listening to us. We do this three days a week. It's a free show. You know, we have some merchandise there. It helps us pay our uh, server costs. Well, when I do pay them, I will pay them. And, uh, yeah, we got a few shirts left. Those are the last ones. Um, I made a hip-hop CD from, uh, had some beats I found on the internet. Stumbled upon. And I swear, I dude, if I hear my stolen beats on your new album, I'm going to fucking bust a cap in your ass next. And then I'm going to rap about it. You and you're worried about somebody stealing them from you? Oh, fuck yeah. You can steal Are them you once. Are you kidding me? After that, no, that's it. Done. You they're only probably, steal uh, them. The guy steal who you found them from probably stole them from somebody. He probably did. No one probably makes did. anything anymore it's like one guy and everyone jacks all this shit everywhere but uh yeah if, if you guys enjoyed this we do do the shows three days a week like we said on monday uh for the pre-show we always turn the cameras on probably like half hour about before 20 the show. minutes before the show uh we'll start going through all of the entries for the 120 gig ipod so if anyone has any entries they want to get in uh it stops sunday you can either go to the jamble.com slash contest all the info's on there, or you can uh, go enter right now back there. Five bucks an entry, enter as many times as you want. I would suggest entering more than five times, because that prick right there did, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out, man. We had a fucking blast, a fucking blast, man. We are the Jam Hole, I'm Matt, and this is Danny. I'm Danny. Good night, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? What did we just get finished doing? Our live show. <laughs> this no. is the cock. No. That looks pregnant. This no. is the huge cock. No, it has a bandaid on it. Come on. Let's see the huge cock. It has a bandaid. Let's see the no. huge cock. Come on. Come on. Come on. My better sense. Who got arrested today? Me. <laughs> yes, he did. That was yesterday. It was yesterday, because now I just... And who picked him up from there? Yeah. You. <laughs> this guy. Uh, this guy right awesome. here. Awesome. Hey, so, he decided he was going to arrest me. I guess he had to. Why? Six or seven warrants. I'm not sure how many. Well, he looks like he's on the stand. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Best shirt ever. You don't shit. Stand up. Stand up. This fucking shirt has got me laying more than ever. Now what? The fuck you guys? Call me a fucking douche. Call me a fag. Call me whatever you want. I got laid because of this shirt. I'm not afraid to admit it. I have not ever given it to this voice. That would never happen. <laughs> Show us your tits! 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 Oh, you fucking asshole! Okay. <laughs> did you find a big? Did you find a big dick tonight? I did not find a big cock tonight. What the fuck, guys? Where's the big dicks? Johnny's back. <laughs> okay, now lick it off her. I don't want to see her puke. Where? Lick it off her. Lick her right. Look at that, dude. There's nothing there. Lick her right Isn't there, she please. Isn't she cute? Look at this girl. Lick her right there, please. You got. I will not let her be taken advantage of. What is this? There's no fans in her. It's for the jam hole. Oh, it's for the like jam hole. Have you no compassion? Can I like come Have you no me? compassion? So I'll just let her sleep. I'm not like you guys. You are disgusting. You are a terrible human being. <laughs> Terrible human being. For sure. Like, I'm glad we're actually making you guys laugh. I knew there was a reason there was, you know, people in here watching the live show and whatnot, and all these people downloading the podcast, but just in my town to get that many people laughing all at once, that was the most amazing feeling for me. I that was, was just really, like, really good. wow, dude. That was That's so cool. That's at the point when I heard everyone do the kaboom at first. Yes.